the average function. Here we want to find the average sales. And in doing so, we could use the operators, but we can also use the average function. To use the average function, once again, we select the cell that's going to hold the answer, which in this case is B9, and we start by typing in the equals. We then need to put in the command word, which in this case is the word average, and then we open the bracket. We then need to type in the cell range that we would like it to find the average of, starting with the first cell, which is B4, then putting in our colon and going down as far as the last cell, which is B7. It highlights the cell range so that we know we've typed in the correct range, then close our bracket and press return. So now in B9, I see the average sales for my four quarters. On the formula bar, I see the formula that built that answer for me. Let's have a look at doing the average, but this time going across the years here for each of my products. So I want to find the average sale for the three years for product one. So I start by putting in my equals and then typing in the average command and opening bracket. Here I'm starting with the first cell which is F5, putting in a colon and going as far as the last cell which is H5 and then I close my bracket and press return. Notice when you're typing in the name of the command a list of commands start to appear matching what you're typing. If you're going to choose from the list, you can't just click on the word. You need to double click on the circle beside the word. So double clicking here will put in the word average for you and open a bracket. And then you just need to put in your cell range, which in this case is F6 colon H6. Then I close my bracket and press return. That's the average function.